Today we're going to talk about the University of Arizona Office of Technology Transfer, and I'm Patrick Jones, the director. What I'd like to talk to you today a little bit is about who we are, what we do, how we do it, how well do we do it, that's always important in a venture environment, and opportunities for licensing, how do you, how do you find them, how do you go about it, and then how to start the process. So, beginning with who we are. We're a group of high-tech professionals who work in a variety of areas. Almost all the people in the office have advanced degrees in their subject matter areas. They typically have business backgrounds or at least product development experience. And they're experts in kind of looking at cool stuff and going forward and trying to figure out what kind of intellectual property assets, what kind of business play, what kind of market applications might be there for it. The reason this is important in a venture or a new venture environment is what we're talking about is the creation of assets against which business can be conducted, investment can be made, or people can organize their activities. As you can see, we're a team of about eight professionals. There's also back office staff and others that make the process move very quickly and seamlessly, both for our inside uh, technology developers and our outside uh, licensees. Formally, our mission is to protect, manage, and transfer University of Arizona-owned intellectual property, which we often refer to as IP, for the benefit of society, to improve and expand public-private partnerships, and new venture developments such as those that Arizona Center for Innovation are involved in are public-private partnerships, as you'll see, and to op optimize the fiscal and social benefit to UA from the deployment of the intellectual property. Our strategic goals are to draw as many people into the process as possible, to enhance the relationships with our outside and inside partners, and to maintain you know, high ethical and other uh, uh, business mores while enabling things to happen as opposed to saying why can't why can we do this at all what I'd like to do is talk a bit, little bit more detail of what we do because while it's nice to talk about strategic goals and it's nice to talk about uh, mission how do we actually implement that well what we do is we manage and license intellectual property it represents early stage technology it's already in existence through completed research. Much of the research done at the university is funded by outside sources, the majority of which is federal funding. This result of research, this cool stuff that the faculty, the students, and the staff at the university develop is not typically obligated for a particular purpose. And so we're able to essentially engage with others to enhance or extend its development into the private sector. It's got to be owned by the University of Arizona. While we sometimes provide through this Arizona Center for Innovation and others some information to outsiders on what we do, our main focus is managing the intellectual property owned by the Arizona Board of Regents. Where most people encounter us is licensing technology developed at the university into their ventures, whether it's a new venture or an expanding venture or a long-standing venture that wants to enhance its capabilities. We support, but do not manage, contract negotiations for research and, and other activities in the university. If you're interested in facilities use or supporting sponsored research, you can talk to people in our office, but what they'll do is they'll direct you to what is called the Office of Research and Contract Analysis, which is a sister organization within the university. Like any $3 billion corporation, the university can be a complex place, but we at OTT or others at the Arizona Center for Innovation can help you navigate uh, to where you should be. Uh, we support corporate connections to the faculty for research or talent that are organized by a, a, another sister office, which is the Office of Corporate and Business Relationships. All of these come together 
in certain ways when we facilitate the creation of new ventures. There's a lot of partners that have to come together in order to create a new venture out of university technology. The Arizona Center for Innovation is one place where you can start. But we support venture education by partnering with Eller and the Arizona Center for Innovation. We help connect our faculty and staff and students to resources. Uh, and again, the Arizona Center for Innovation has lots of different resources, not merely educational support. And we create intellectual property assets, which are really important in terms of underpinning the organization, particularly in the early stages when it's business plan, people, and intellectual property assets that define the company or the venture. In a sense, the way we look at it is we have university knowledge, business and technical mentoring service, education resources, and a bunch of partners such as Eller, the University of Arizona Office of Technology Transfer, or the Arizona Center for Innovation all coming together to support venture creation in the community. How we do it? Well, we can talk about that in more detail some other time, but it's really more about we find or receive notice about something cool. And we could call that formally uh, intellectual property disclosure. But in many respects, we help people really figure out what cool stuff they've developed is uh, utilize, utilizable in the context we're talking about. It may or may not be completely done, but it's usually in progress. Research, which is done at the university, is about looking at the future. The intellectual property that we're managing is, in a sense, talking a little bit about the past. We evaluate what was created for things like uniqueness. How unique is it? Are there other solutions? Are other people competing? These are a lot of the same questions that you'll ask as you're creating a new venture. We also look at usefulness, whether a market would care if it was created. Because at the end of the day, unless a market exists that would be willing to pay for the product that's created or the intellectual property that's produced, does it make any sense to create it? Well, absolutely not, because nobody would require or would obtain back their investment of time, effort, and money uh, in the project. Availability of intellectual property rights, because we are creating a particular type of assets. There are other assets that a business will need. These could include, for example, facilities, people, of course, more importantly, cash. Uh, but intellectual property is an asset, and it's one of the assets that starting companies need. That's what we manage, and that's what we bring to the table. Uh, but are they possible? Is a patent possible? Is a copyright, a trademark, a trade secret possible? The unglamorous part of our job, but the absolutely necessary part of it, is that we create clear title. So we're the title agency. We look at the circumstances of creation, the policies of the university, how things came together, who was involved, and we create title, perfect the intellectual property right, and consolidate those rights for transfer to another party, a licensee, uh, that may be an existing business or, in the cases we're talking about here, a new venture. How do we measure up? Well, in terms of absolute numbers, we're a growing concern. We're a startup just like you are. But in terms of relative performance, the trajectories are all really good. We do a lot of transactions for our size. We do about 80 licenses and options uh, per year. Is this good? Well, you know, I ask myself that as a manager of a business just like any business manager would do. And so benchmarking against peers, we see that yes, that actually is very good. In fact, it's one of the most efficient uh, production rates, so should we say, uh, in the US. Uh, but again, at the end of the day, it's the relationships we create, the opportunities we create for our faculty, our students, our staff, and the community that really are the value. How do we do in startups? Well, in the last five years, we've contributed over 30 new companies to Arizona. What kind of companies are we talking about? Well, there's everything from optics to agriculture to not-for-profits and social ventures. 
About a quarter of our companies over the, the period from 2003 to the present have been in optical sciences. Another 40% have been in life sciences, some in agricultural sciences and some in social, behavioral, and other areas. Uh, we've added 25 of those companies in Arizona. What makes a company from us? Well, the technology that the company is founded on must be foundational and must be licensed from the university. If the technology of a company, even though we might add some in, is, not is from elsewhere and our technology is not foundational, then we don't count it as a startup out of our office. Are there other startups at the university? Absolutely. There's usually about seven or ten startups from uh, the McGuire Entrepreneurship Program. There's also startups that are associated with the Arizona Center for Innovation, where the technology has come from the community or from other places. All of these are activities of the university and the community in promoting venture development. How do you get started in this? Well. You may already have ideas or you may be looking for technology to start your business. You can certainly start at the Office of Technology Transfer. Our phone number is 520-621-5000. Or you can send a question to info at ott.arizona.edu or visit our website at www.ott.arizona.edu. If you want to learn more about just general corporate relations at the university or make contact with some of the talented students and others at the university, you can contact Corporate and Business Relationships, and that's headed by Nancy Smith, who's the director. And she's at 520-626-4467. And her email address is nsmith at vpr.arizona.edu. For more about sponsored research or how you might build off the research enterprise at the university by collaborating with UA researchers, you can talk to Louis Barbieri, who's director of the Office of Research and Contract Analysis. I hope this brief overview helps you get started on your new venture. You have excellent partners in the Arizona Center for Innovation, and we look forward to seeing you sometime at the doorstep of OTT. Mm -hmm.